Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have a month for you that is really all about karmic reward and also uh, some restlessness as well. But the great thing is, is that what feels like an energy of restlessness can be used and transformed into power, into action. And it is ultimately that very action that's going to open up even bigger blessings to you. Personal, practical, and spiritual big blessings at that. So the energy that I'm really excited about for this month has to do with the beautiful connection between the Sun and Jupiter. This is one of the more fortunate configurations that we are going to see in the sky this year. And this is happening with the Sun in the sign just before yours, which means karmic blessings. But it also means the blessings of karmic closures as well. Meaning, if there's a situation in your life that you would really love to transform, you'd really love it to become something different, to become something more, to become something better, uh, you'd really like to find a way to segue into a new situation and to bring a healthy closure about, well, it is gonna be this configuration that helps you to do just that, freeing up your energy for all kinds of new beginnings. Now. The way in which we are going to make the most of this energy of Jupiter and the Sun is thanks to a new moon that happens earlier in the month in the same part of the sky that the Sun is in. Now that's happening right around the fourth or fifth of the month, depending on where you are on the planet. This new moon in the sign just before yours will be speaking in conversations of tension with Pluto and with Saturn, but also speaking in harmony with Jupiter as well. And so I'm very encouraged by this new moon because if we just all saw harmonious, supremely harmonious connections, well, what tends to happen is people get a little bit too laid back. They can get a little lazy, but in order to make the most of the sky, very often it requires our own motivation. It requires that we feel as if we must do something and in so doing we support the universe to ensure that we're able to be blessed that much more. It is ultimately this new moon that is going to set the stage. It's going to provide the impetus. It's going to ensure that you're motivated to take the actions you need so that you can get to that place of important blessings that do find you. But remember this, as much as it may feel a little bit restless inside, your dreams especially may be especially vivid in the early part of the month, it is ultimately going to be the stuff that you're not chasing after, fighting for. It's where there's just that space for the new to enter that it will find you mid-month. And it is going to be based on the good things that you did perhaps long ago, perhaps forgot about, but now here they are. They've come back around in some way. And it is a validation of sorts to let you know that there is no effort you take that ever goes uh, to vain. There is no energy you put out into the world, especially good energy, wholehearted, pure-hearted energy that doesn't provide you with rewards even if they come in their own time. Now, as we move further into the month, it is going to be right around the 19th that we are going to have a full moon. Now, this is going to be the second full moon in the same part of the sky. The first one took place right at the equinox, March 21st. I spoke all about this last month. And whereas that full moon was happening at the very beginning of its sign, this one is in the same part of the sky, but at the very end. And so when you have a full moon, it represents completion and culmination, and it represents closures as well, endings as well. The thing is though, because last month it was a full moon at the beginning of its sign, with that sense of completion came a new beginning. Now, as we move 
into this month it is going to be this second full moon in this part of the sky as it happens at the very end of its sign is going to represent a real sense of closure and possibly one with a lot of intensity to it as well emotional intensity at that it is a full moon that is speaking in harmony with jupiter there's the blessings okay so there is that sense of hope and possibility and confidence that may be with you but it is also standing across the sky from Uranus in your sign. Now, this is what astrologers call an opposition. It's not a true opposition because they are not in opposite signs. However, when you look at it from a perspective of mathematical precision, they are indeed, these two planets, this full moon and Uranus are standing across from each other. And of course, Uranus is in your sign. And so as I look at this, chances are there are going to be changes at work. There's going to be changes in terms of whether it's the type of work you're doing or the people who surround you there, maybe some project that comes to an end rather suddenly. Okay, that's going to be a key characteristic here. But more importantly, I think it's you that is going to surprise yourself by being the source of the suddenness. So it could be you that has a particular reaction or reaction. Uh, it could be you that has a certain response to a moment, however much the moment may surprise you. This can be an energy that may seem impulsive to other people. However, chances are it's a long time coming and chances are there's been some remnants of this moment. Going back to the middle of last year, when Uranus had just dipped in your sign for just a little bit, there is some change that you are ready to make or you're feeling like you really want to make. Now, how that shows up in your life, well, that's going to show up in your daily life. So for some, yes, it could be all of a sudden you realize you want to have changes where it comes to your workplace. Um, for some, it may be a change of role right where you are. For others, it may really feel as if you don't want to be in a particular environment or doing a particular task or a particular role anymore. Now for others, this energy can show up more in terms of your habits and your daily rituals. And so one place that this can show up is in terms of your eating habits. You may have a particular realization or go through a, a light bulb moment, if you will, that changes some aspect of your habits. So whether it is your eating habits, uh, some food that you're eating that you don't want to eat anymore, that you realize you don't want to anymore. Um, it could be some habit that you're doing that's affecting your health. Uh, this is cold turkey energy. So this is energy that all of a sudden you realize, all of a sudden you see the truth. It's like ripping off a band-aid. You will know where it is that you are ready to make a meaningful change that ultimately helps you to feel more like you can be you, authentically you, especially in the smallest moments of your day, each and every day. Now, where it comes to matters of love this month, so what is gonna happen is for much of this month, right up to that full moon, Venus is gonna to continue to move through uh, a part of the sky that Venus moved into last month, late last month, which is a very friendship-oriented part of your sky. Now, Venus is very strong here. She's said to be what we call exalted in this part of the sky, or in the sign, rather, in the sign of Pisces. For you, this is a part of the sky that has to do with friends, groups that you belong to, social endeavors as well. Now, I think that this is really powerful because this is just fun. It is social. It is people wanting you to be part of whatever it is that they are doing and feeling as if what it is that you offer um, is able to bring a sense of blessing, a, bl a sense of lightness, a sense of ease, not only to them, but to you as well. So, of course, there's a way that that can play out that is uh, strictly in terms of friendship or strictly professional as well. In fact, it is this energy of Venus in the first three weeks of this month that can bring with it uh, professional opportunities that feel especially big, but also will very likely be well-earned and feel like blessings. They may not be as huge a boost as Jupiter would bring, but Venus is nonetheless a bringer of gifts. And so you can expect other people to facilitate at least one opportunity for you that feels very meaningful. 
However, it is Venus, goddess of love, and it is your ruling planet as well. And so it is going to be love that takes on a more social element, but also a greater element of companionship is gonna to start to matter for you where it comes to love. So if you are open to meeting someone new, make sure you're accepting invitations, spending time with other people, spending time with your friends. It is gonna be in social settings that love has the greatest possibility of developing. It is also going to be um, through a friend or with a friend that something more could develop at this time. For those of you who are getting to know somebody, this is seeing them differently uh, and feeling more inspired by the possibilities as you spend time with people that you know with this person that you are getting to know. So it's about developing a connection, a friendship with this person that is a little bit more deep. And it's also about seeing how they are in social situations. For those of you who are in an established bond, I think this energy is so amazing because this energy is really about feeling like you are with someone who is your best friend, someone who can really understand you, someone that you can really talk to in deeper ways, but also not so deep that it feels like you're, you know, being searing or you're searching your soul, but rather that you're able to bring lightness uh, and understanding and it allows you to feel like the the walk through life is that much easier thanks to you being with this person. Now, once we get three weeks into the month, once we reach that full moon, Venus will move into the sign just before yours. And this is important for a few reasons. It means on the one hand, next month in May, Venus will enter your sign. This is gonna be a big deal for you. It really is gonna feel like something within you has come home and come together. I will talk about it every single step of the way as we get there, but at least for this month with Venus moving into the sign just before yours, well, this tends to represent love becoming uh, quieter, uh, a little bit more behind the scenes, not necessarily something you feel you can shout from the rooftops or wanna share with everybody just yet, but it could be if you are in an established bond or getting to know someone, the two of you are either working on something together or just cultivating a more spiritual connection with each other and it is more than enough. And if it is that you are open to meeting someone new, well, this can be a time as we approach later into this month that someone does present themselves to you, but it might be someone who's uh, got some complicating factors there that you may have to take into consideration. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there is a lot here, but I do love how the first three weeks of this month have Venus in such a strong placement for you. Um, Venus loves being in this sign, in the sign of Pisces. She's able to bring forward her very best qualities and Venus is your ruling planet, which means that there's some part of you that is feeling especially at ease as we start this month. It is gonna be an important time to consider your allies, your connections, and just reach out or keep connections going. It is those bigger, loftier, a little bit more far out aims that you have in your life. Well, it is gonna be other people now who bring them that much closer and make them that much more real. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.